Are you thinking about moving to Temple Terrace, Florida? If so, you're going to want to stick around and watch this video as we're going to show you around Temple Terrace, Florida. And you're going to want to stick around to the end as we're going to share some of Temple Terrace's best kept secrets. And we're going to get after it right now. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to get those market updates on the housing market in Temple Terrace, Florida. My name is Debbie Diaz, and this is Andres Diaz with the Diaz Group at eXp Realty. We get calls, texts, emails every day from people just like you looking to make that smooth move to Temple Terrace, Florida, and we absolutely love it. Whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email so we can help you make that smooth move to Temple Terrace. We're coming to you live from River Hills Park in Temple Terrace, Florida, which is one part of 21 parks in Temple Terrace. The backdrop behind us is the beautiful Hillsborough River. Temple Terrace has an approximate population of 26,000. 26,000, yes. it's grown already. <laughs> 26,000, it's its own municipality. You'll see they'll have their own police department, their own fire station, what have you. The police department, well, let's just get this right out of the way, right away. In Temple Terrace, do not, <laughs> do not make a U-turn on 56th Street. The police, it's a small municipality, small police department, so I'm pretty sure that they make a lot of the revenue, revenue oh, yes. from traffic violations. So one of the big thing is U-turns on 56th Street, for whatever reason. And the second, which my mom and our son just experienced recently after we have told them multiple times, red light cameras. Yes. They are everywhere in Temple Terrace. Again, another way of generating revenue for this, you know, small city with inside a city. So Temple Terrace is just northeast. northeast. It's on the northeast part of, of Tampa, just mm -hmm. outside of Tampa, on the northeast part, very close to University of South Florida, very close to Bush Gardens, mm -hmm. uh, Adventure Island, the Hillsborough River, and like we said, 21 parks. So it's 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 an older town but you're gonna see a little bit of everything you're gonna have some 26 26 thousand <laughs> but you're gonna see all levels yes. in that small area you're gonna see the lower income level and you're gonna see homes well into the millions million of dollars. dollars beautiful golf course here in temple terrace a big rec center yes. for the kids indoor basketball you name it beautiful rec center temple terrace started way back in the early 1920s and um, when i was reading up on it it was saying back in 1925 it hosted the first u.s open here at the golf and country club center in temple terrace so it does have some amazing golf courses that like he said million dollar homes all around these courses all along the hillsborough river you're going to find some spectacular waterfront homes but keep in mind you are just minutes from USF, which is a um, public school, a uh, college, amazing college on top of that. It has a, an amazing medical program. I want to say engineering. Good engineering So, program for sure. you know, you have lots of people here from all over the world. And because of that, you're going to have a lot of condos, apartments, duplexes. A lot of things that we commonly get called on is people from out of state looking at duplexes and they're not in the best areas because a lot of the places around the school are just lower income, you know, so that students can afford that. So like he but said, you're going to you get go, a mosh You posh. go over a couple blocks yep. and you'll find a $1.5 million house. So right. there, there's a little bit of everything here because of its proximity to the interstate, I-75, and its proximity to I-275. It kind of sits right in the middle of both of those interstates, yep. giving you direct access to Tampa and, and out of Tampa. Um, right, quit so, to the airport. You yeah. could be there probably in about 15 minutes. Same with downtown, 15 minutes. If you were heading over to Lakeland, Orlando, you are again between two interstates, so you could hit that within an hour or so, maybe a little more, depending on um, the time of day and depending on rush hour traffic. But very, very centrally located. Seems like a lot of families that grew up in Temple Terrace are yeah. true yeah. here today. They just love their area. The, the guys that grew up here, a lot of them are still here. Mm -hmm. So you find some old time uh, Temple Terry. I don't, I don't know what they call it. They called Temple Terrians. I have no idea, <laughs> but a Terrian just sounded like a dog. So let's not say that. So our kids grew up playing um, travel baseball. They actually, at three and a half, started playing ball at um, Temple Terrace Pony Park. 
and that's just one of the rec centers that has, um, or I would say it was a sports complex because yeah. it also had soccer fields. Um, they might be even doing lacrosse out of there right now. Yeah. But um, so our kids grew up playing ball all throughout Temple Terrace. Which At is, the Pony Park, the for Little what, League, For yes. whatever reason, like 26 parks, 21 parks, whatever it is, 21 parks, 26,000 people. <laughs> uh, the 21 parks, it's just, it's just for whatever reason, a very outdoorsy, great area. They have a parade once a year. They do, they do a lot of parades, actually. They're gonna have your, it's that small town feel. So you're gonna have, our kids even did it one year for, um, I think, 4th of July or yeah, Veterans definitely. Day. No, we definitely kept They rode on July, floats, sure. yeah. they ran around and gave out candy, but it is one of those type of, um, Community, communities that community still has that tradition. hometown feel yeah. because of the college and a lot of the different ethnicities you're going to have a lot of amazing food choices in temple terrace you're going to get anything i mean it's a mosh posh you're going to get everything from asian to mediterranean to chinese spanish just all the different flavors if you're looking for pretty inexpensive food, obviously college kids, so there's gonna be a lot of that going on. I don't really think you're gonna find any fine dining right in Temple Terrace. Nothing is popping of. out to me just like that, but, but, but again. But good dining, there's a great Thai restaurant that we oh, go yeah. to. Um, Lots so there's of, a lot of very good good restaurants out here. But you're close. You're close to the city of Tampa, so anything that you need, you would be going to Tampa anyways. The mall here is just now transitioning into almost like an apartment living type thing with doctor's offices. So it was University Mall, and like I said, they are transitioning that into more of a a communal type live work play type area so for malls you would probably go brandon. to brandon which would be maybe a 10 minute ride on the interstate um and you're close to the interstate so yeah. right around the corner you'll be in brandon mall you have right next to the the university you're going to have uh the hospital oh yes a big va hospital big hospital you're going to have another uh, hospital which is a va hospital so you have a va hospital and you have oh. an advent hospital right on the corner of um what is that, Fletcher? Fletcher and Bruce B. Downs or 30th Street. So speaking of which, um, I said Bruce B. Downs, New, um, Temple Terrace butts right up to New Tampa. So that's an area that you'll also find a lot of students in. If you are looking for housing, um, your child's gonna be going to USF. A lot of kids do look in the um, New Tampa area. New Tampa, Tampa Palms, mm -hmm. East, anywhere in East Tampa. So it's a big, a big area for investors, like we said earlier and just a big area of uh older homes yeah. you're you're not gonna find any um master plan communities in temple terrace you're gonna have a lot of you know just older homes there's gonna be a mix you're not gonna see like a thousand cookie cutters in a row you're gonna see a lot of different mixed elevations the tree um, uh, big mature oak trees are gonna go down some roads huge. that you'll see like you know you're kind of like in a, in a just dome, to give you, you an know? idea yeah this is a elementary school right behind us and as you can see there are trees everywhere people with hammocks um, hanging from these trees and just yeah a lot of shade so let's get to it. We're going to go now and look at three different homes and three different price ranges, mm -hmm. let you know more or less what the valleys are in Temple Terrace. All right, and let's get after it right now. Hello, and here we are at our first stop in Temple Terrace. So the home right behind me is currently listed on the market at 374,000. It was built in 1985, three bedroom, two bath home, just over 1,600 square feet, two car garage, and just amazing landscaping all around me. Cool thing about this is, again, you're not in this master plan community, so you've got just a nice mix of homes all around you. You are gonna have brick homes, you're gonna have vinyl siding homes, this, actually the home that we were looking at has um, like that stone frontage with some vinyl siding on the front, but just a real mix, nice mix of homes because you're not in that huge master plan community. So the plus side of that is that you're not paying a monthly HOA fee or you're not paying a CDD fee. You're literally just paying your mortgage, your homeowner's insurance and your taxes. Again, great community, lots of nice long sidewalks, lots of mature trees, the type of place that you'd hang a rope and tie a tire to it and got yourself a tire swing for the kiddos. Anyways, let's go check out house number two here in Temple Terrace. Okay, 
Here we are at stop number two, still in Temple Terrace. The home right behind me is currently on the market, listed at 535,000. It's a pretty big house, just over 2,500 square feet, featuring four bedrooms and two and a half bath. As you can see, it's a nice two-story home, a lot of land to the rear of the home and to the side of the home, which is what's nice because you've got a lot of green space. Even directly across the street, you've got a nice green field, perfect spot for the dogs and kids to be running around and playing ball, things like that. But again, this is what you can get for 535,000 in Temple Terrace. And here we are at our last stop in Temple Terrace. As we had said earlier, you can get some really nice homes, especially some that are right along the Hillsborough River, which is directly behind me. So the house to the rear of me with the moving pod is actually on the market right now. And it is listed at 1.1 million. Huge house. I mean, just look at it. It's over 6,300 square feet. It has five bedrooms, three full bathrooms, two half baths, and I want to say it's set a three car garage, so it does have parking over to the side as well. Again, you are directly across from the beautiful Hillsborough River, which means you've got a public boat ramp right there. You could drop in your jet skis, you could drop in um, kayaks, canoes, paddle boards, if you wanted to take the kiddos and do some fishing, or by yourself, because I do that as well. Want a little bit of quiet time, you've got this gorgeous scenery just right across from you. So that is gonna wrap it up for our tour of Temple Terrace Homes. Again, please like, subscribe, tap that bell for notifications. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email if you have any questions about Temple Terrace or Tampa Bay in general as we cover all those areas. We'd like to help you make that smooth move to Temple Terrace and we hope to see you around town.